Welcome to another edition of Brand Squeeze TV, the show that helps you make money at home. In this edition, we're going to look at how to use Flash Media Live Encoder with Livestream. Okay, here is the Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder. Now we need to set this up for use with Livestream. The first thing that we need to check is that we are streaming to Flash Media Server here. Down here, where it talks about FMS URL, you have to put something specific in. You've actually got to put this in here, where you insert your username and your password. If you want to record in 3-4 ratio, you need to unclick the maintain aspect ratio down the bottom here, on the left. The stream name can be anything that you want, but it's probably worth changing this every time that you do some a new stream. So at the moment we've got live stream in there. The output size should be set to the standard live stream player, which is 592 by 334. And actually to get 592 by 334 in there, you're going to have to unclick maintain the aspect ratio just above it. The quality will be influenced by the bit rate. And you can see that we've got a, a drop down. 200 is lower quality, 500 is medium quality, and somewhere around 650 or 800 is high quality. The frame rate for low quality is about 15, and for medium and high quality, it's somewhere around the 25 mark. For audio, we'll stick to a bit rate of 20 kbps and mono, so that's OK. The sample rate of 11,000 Hz is also OK. Most speech is somewhere around the 2,000 to 11,000 Hz. Now, you need to check your CPU usage as well when you're broadcasting. You don't want to be driving your CPU usage over 90%. And if you are, you're going to have to adjust your settings down. Format either VP6 or H.264. If you're broadcasting to a mobile device, then you'll want to use H.264. Just coming back to bitrate again, I've mentioned previously that I know that my bitrate for uploading maxes out at about 500 kbps. I don't want to be running it at maximum. You might find that you have a better connection and you can actually increase this. So you need to check to see what your upload speed is on your internet connection. My devices, my USB camera is fine. We know that's working because we can see a picture of my face on the screen. And my microphone is correct because that's the headset I'm using at the moment, the Microsoft LifeJet. Back over here on the right, there's an auto adjust tick box. We want to tick that. If something happens with our connection, then the system will automatically drop frames or degrade the quality of the image in order to continue the streaming. Down at the bottom right, it says save to file. How many live streams have you been to where the moderator says that he's going to record it and uh, is, has in fact forgotten to press the record button? If you, if you click save to file down here, then this will be saved on your C drive. Thank you for watching this episode of Brand Squeeze TV, the show that helps you make money at home.